Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to learn how we can have the approval flows with the delegations. So when I say delegation, that means the current approval task should be delegated to a new approver if the first approver is not available. So that one thing we are going to automate over here. So I would like to clarify one thing. Delegation is not a reassignment of the task because for reassignment, that person has to be available to reassign the task to a new person. So delegation is like if a person is not available, is on uh, plan time off for a week or for a few days, then that task has to be delegated to the backup approver and backup approver can approve the item and still that process can happen. So this is the scenario we are going to take. So I am just showing you one of my uh, SharePoint site having this industry news list. So basically this list would contain the item which requires the approval and this is having a uh, standard columns, title, image, news link, and domain. So this domain column is a choice column. And based on the type of domain, I would be picking the approvals from a different list. So these are news approval lists. I have already created uh, three items in this list uh, based on uh, this domain type. So these are my domain, finance, technology, people. And I'm having the primary approval and the backup. So if this person is not available to approve this news item, then automatically this person, the backup approver should get the approval task and that person should be able to take the action on behalf of this uh, first person. And this has to be done automatically, not in a reassigned way. So that we are going to take a look today. So I'll just go to my make.powerautomate.com and we'll start creating one of the flow. So I'll start my own and I'll just say skip to build your own flow now. And over here, I'll choose the trigger is when the item is created into my industry news list. So whenever the item or the news item is added over here, based on the domain, it should pick the approvals to create the task. So that's what we are going to do. So I'll just create the trigger is when item is created or modified in SharePoint site my this case com site and the list name is industry news then this flow should trigger and as a next step I would be picking up the uh, approver metrics based on the type of domain for which this news is created so I'll just say get items and I'll just bind this to again the same site List name is news approvers and now I'll just filter out the item based on the domain. So the domain which is in this list is domain and but in the approver matrix list is title. So I'll just say the title equal to single quotes and I'll just pick that from the dynamic content value domain value. So, and this will give me the top count one because I just need one row. And in the next step, which is the main step to start the approval flows, I use the action as start and wait for an approval. I just scroll down. This action we are going to pick. Now approval type. So approval type first to respond and it will expand it to the to fill out the other properties so in title i'll just say that please approve news for and news is for domain value name and assign to so i'll be assigning this news to the primary approver first of first of all so primary approver is just the approver field so i'll just search the approver email from my dynamic content and just set it. So now it has binded that to apply to each because we have this get items returning multiple items uh, logically, but we have restricted that to just one item by using top count one, though like it will bind it. So that's not a problem, it's fine. So now in next step, as I said, if this approval is approving it without any problem, then in the next step, I'll be just adding one condition to check the outcome of this previous step. 
if the primary approver is approving it so i'll just add this condition and in the condition i'll use the outcome of my previous task is equal to if it's approved then i'll just set the content status of my this list so you have seen like i have this approval status and i have enabled the content approval uh, on my this list so for enabling that you have to go to the site settings and under the version settings you have to check this first option as require content approval for submitted items so that means like the content would be bind up with the content approval flow where the initial state would be draft then once the item is created is pending and then approve or reject based on the outcome of the task so that's one column you have to enable so as i said like uh, if the outcome of my task is approved then i'll set the content approval for this item an item we are going to again bind it from the site library name is industry news id is the id of the created item and action is approve because i am checking the outcome is approved then it should be approved so this condition i have added but what if like uh, my approver is not available because this task would lie into the inbox of approver for the number of days the approver is on leave but uh, my eta on the approval task should be let's say one day so as soon as the industry news is created it should be approved and should be published on my intranet so it cannot lie into the pending state for a longer duration so for that i have added this backup approver so if this person is not available then this back backup person should be able to approve it so we are going to tackle now for the backup approver so this is called delegation of the task like if i am not available my task should be delegated to my to the new approver to get approved so for that i will be clicking on these three dots and i'll just go to the setting and in the in this setting i'll decide like for how many duration my this task should not be timed out or what after what duration my task should be timed out because if this person is not approving then it has to go to a new person so for that we'll be just entering the criteria so in the real time you can add up so example it's already done p one d so that means like it will wait for the one day so if you if your requirement is day then you can simply say p two d it will wait for the two days if the requirement is for time then you have to say p t one h that means like it will wait for the one hour for the time out if you're i mean for the testing you can actually have this time out based on minutes so i'll just say time out based on 1 minute so pt 1 m that will that means this task would be timed out after 1 minute but in the actual scenario it would be p 2 days or p 7 d so that means like it will time out after 7 days and you have to check this retry policy as none so it should not retry uh to had the action on this task again so just remember that you have to like fill in the duration for time out and set the retry policy as none and i am just clicking on done so retry policy is set as 1 minute this is just for our demo so if in 1 minute i am not approving this then the task would be created for my backup approver so now i have to create one another action for my backup approver so i'll just click on this insert tab and we'll create a parallel branch and that parallel branch i'll start adding up the same start and wait for approval action and this time i'll set this click on this three dots and i'll just go to this configure run after and not on successful i'll check has timed up then only this action should run So now you can see like this having red dots that means this is a conditional one and only if i have received this timeout uh, error for my previous session then only this will be executed so in the case the backup approver the task would only be created when the initial task is timed out so now again i'll just set up the task so for differentiating between these tasks i'm just adding the title as delegated task and please approve news 
the far and I'll again pick the from dynamic content domain value and assign to this time would be my backup approver. So I'll just say backup email and the details if you wish to put you can put. So that's how you can create this additional task when the first task is getting timed out. And again, I'll add one more condition to check the status or outcome of this my next action. So I'll just say condition and in the condition I'll say the response of my second approver or the outcome of my second approver is approve. Then it should set the content approval status of my that item. So I'll just copy the same stuff. Let's move to that left hand branch rather than again typing everything or so I'll just copy this to clipboard and I'll just paste this to this action my clipboard I'll paste this so now we are done so based on the approval outcome of our this second task we are again setting the approval status as approved so now we are done we have created our flow which is which initially creates a task for the primary approver and if primary approver is not available or my task action is timing out if my approver is primary approver is not taking any action then it will create a task for backup approver so i'm just naming this as approval flow with delegation and saving it So as I set the timeout as for one minute, so we'll be seeing the two tasks created in just a couple of minutes. So now our flow is saved. I'll just create a test news for technology domain, let's say. And I have, rather than filling these information, I'll just go to the domain. I'll just pick the technology. And in technology, I'll check like who is the primary owner primary approver is this person and the backup is this person so I'll just create this and save it now we'll wait for our flow to kick off so it's running and it must be stopped or waiting for the action to be completed for the primary approver I can go to the approvers to check like whether it has created that task or not so right now if I just go to send I should find the this task which is recently created. Please approve news for technology. This is for uh, my colleague and it's created 17 seconds ago. So that means it has created the first task and now we'll wait for the test second task to be created because the earlier action would be timed out in just one minute. So the new delegated task should be created for me as I am the backup owner for this approval matrix, so I'll, I'll just wait for the task to be generated for me. So we just got the pop-up for my this approval task. So if I refresh into my approvals, I should get, I should see the task created for me with a delegated task title. So this is the task which is created because the primary approval does not approve and the task got timeout, the action got timeout. Now the backup approval, which is me, is having this task. I'm approving it and putting my comments as test and confirming. So now the final status is approved. I'm getting Teams notifications. And if I go back to my views list, I should get my this item in approved state. Earlier it was pending. So this is a, a way of creating the delegation functionality with the approver flow. If your if your primary approver is not available, then how the backup approver would be getting the task. And based on your business requirement, you need to decide like whether the task should be timed out in a day or seven days or 30 days, like you can decide. But this is the way you can implement the uh, delegation. And one more thing, like if I go to any other task, so there is a option of this reassign thing. So this reassign thing is not delegation. This reassign thing actually requires the manual intervention to reassign or 
uh, set this task again like uh, to a different person so that manual inter interaction would be required to reassigning this and and in in flow as well we have to actually enable or set this action to allow reassignment if i go to my flow edit this quickly go to the task there is an option to allow reassignment so if that is clicked then only the reassignment would work but that reassignment is definitely not the delegation which we right now discussing if you go to show advanced you will have this enable reassignment as yes and no so if you click on no then reassignment things you would not receive you will not get any reassignment things so i think like uh, that's it about delegation how you can handle it and if you have questions please feel free to drop your comments i'll try to answer and if you like the video please press that thumb button and that's it for today thank you